How's it going everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you 15 useful Google Sheets tips to help you save time and improve your productivity. This video is about time saving, so I won't waste yours. Let's get straight into it. Tip number one is freeze top row. If you have a table with lots of rows, it can be annoying when you scroll down and can't see the column header. So what you can do is lock the top row. In Excel, this is called freeze panes. If you hover over this horizontal bar and drag it underneath the row you want locked, this will now stay in place. If I scroll down, you can see all the column headers. You can do the same thing for the columns, except you use the vertical gray bar here. Make sure the hand appears, drag it across, and now the dates are locked when I scroll left and right. Tip number two, resize columns quickly. If you have a column that is too small to see the full content, you can hover over the right hand side of the column and double click it. Make sure these arrows appear and then double click and it will resize automatically to fit the width of the contents. Now I can do the same thing here and I'm resizing the columns. If you have rows that are all different sizes, you can do the same thing with the rows. So I'll just click on this and double click it and it will resize. Now you don't want to be doing that one by one if you have multiple rows and columns. What you can do is click on this box here and this will highlight everything. Then anywhere between two columns, double click it and it will resize everything. The same thing for the rows, double click it and it will do all the rows. Now you have clean organized data. Tip number three, add columns quickly. Simply right click a column or a cell and click insert one column to the left or right. Because I've clicked on a cell, it just says insert one column. You can do the same thing for rows. If you right click, insert one row above. Now, if you want to add multiple columns, highlight the amount of columns you want, then right click and it will say insert three columns to the left or three columns to the right. Now you can add multiple columns. Tip number four, jump around a list quickly. You can easily jump around and navigate a list by using the control and arrow keys on your keyboard. If you're using a Mac, it would be command and arrow keys. So for example, I want to move to the bottom of this list, I'll press and hold control and click down. If I want to move to the right hand side, I'll press and hold control or command and click right. Same for going up. You can just navigate quickly and easily using the command and arrow keys. Now, tip number five, if you want to highlight cells quickly, what you can do is press control and shift and then down and this highlights the selected section. You can do the same thing if I just click on that cell, if I press control and shift and a right arrow, it highlights that row. I can then press down and this will highlight the entire thing. This just makes it super easy to make selections in and around your list. Tip number six, quickly see a sum or count from a set of numbers. So if you have a set of numbers like this, I have a revenue amount in this column. I can click on the top using the technique I just showed you. I'll press control or command shift and then a down arrow and this highlights all the numbers in that column. Then if I look to the bottom right hand side, I can see a count and it shows me 156. So this is the amount of orders I've made. Now if I click on this drop down, it will show me a sum of all those revenue figures here, an average, the minimum and maximum. So this is a super quick way to reference numbers in a column. You have to make sure that the data in this column can be read as a number. So if you highlight that column, then select more formats here, make sure it's on currency or number, and then this count and sum feature will work. Tip seven, flip rows and columns. Say you don't want the headers going across the top and you want them going down the side instead, you can, you can convert it to columns using paste transpose. Simply highlight the whole table. So what I'll do is I'll click on this and highlight the whole table using control shift down and across to get everything. I'll control C that and then I'll paste that control V into a new sheet. 
Now, instead of doing a regular paste like I did here, to flip the rows and columns, I will right click, paste special and click transposed. Now the table is flipped. Tip eight, add today's date. Say you want to add today's date to your sheet and have it always appear correct. You can use the following formula equals today, open bracket, close bracket, and then press enter and today's date will appear. This is super useful if you want to find out how long ago a date was. For example, I've got a list of orders here. If you run an e-commerce store, this is helpful. I could create a new column saying days since order. And then what I can do is I can reference this column with this column to get the date. So I'll use a simple formula equals today's date minus the date that it was ordered and then press enter and you can see here that it was ordered 366 days ago. This is useful if you want to do some remarketing of these people. Now it's suggesting that I autofill it. So if I try that, let's see what happens. One thing to note, if you copy that formula down, it won't work because the cell reference in the formula will also move down. What we need to do is lock the cell reference for today's date in the formula. We can do this by adding a dollar sign in front of the column and row number in the formula. So today's date is in J4. Go to where it says J4 and add a dollar sign in front of it. Now I'll press enter. If I click that and then click and drag the formula to go down, these will now automatically update. As you can see, J4 is locked on everyone because that's today's date. Tip nine, capitalize names properly. If you have a list of names and there are a mix of upper and lower case, you can use the formula proper to properly capitalize them. Type equals proper, open bracket, then select the cell and then closing bracket and then enter. You can then apply this formula all the way down the column with Google suggested autofill. So there you go, as you can see, their names are now capitalized. However, as you can see from the list, the spaces between the names are all different. So tip 10 is remove extra spaces. You can do this with the trim formula. Type in equals trim and in between the brackets, you enter the cell. Press tab or enter to accept and then you can click on the tick to fill in Google's suggested autofill and this will apply the formula all the way down. As you can see, we now have a clean list. Tip 11, combine formulas. Now you know how to use trim and proper, you can save even more time by doing both of these functions in one formula. This is called a nested function. So for this example, I will wrap a trim function around a proper function. I am essentially putting one formula inside another and doing them at the same time. Google will work inside out and do the innermost function first. So in this case, it will correctly capitalize A2 with the proper function. So we've got proper A2. And once that's done, it will trim the whole lot and then it will give the result. Tip 12, split first name and last name. Now you have the names properly formatted, you may want to split the first name and last name. So click on a new cell and then type in equals split. Now between the brackets, we need to enter the cell and a separator, which is normally a space. You can't enter a space on its own as this won't be recognized. You need to enter it between two speech marks then close it with a bracket and hit enter. Now the first name and last name are in two separate columns. You can then copy down the formula by double clicking the square in the corner of the cell. Tip 13, join two cells together using the ampersand. So if I wanted to rejoin these, what I'll do is type equals, then the first cell containing the first name, then the ampersand symbol, then I'll enter a space within speech marks. 
then another ampersand to add the last name. Then press enter and autofill the rest. This will work for any text string. You can of course add any text between the speech marks. So for example, you can add a dash instead of a space. Tip 14, filter data. Say you want to filter your data, simply click inside a table, then click on data and click create a filter. And now you see these blue lines are added to each of these column headers. Now what I can do is I can filter these rows by the values. So in this case, I can sort them alphabetically or I can clear the selection and choose a specific payment type. So I'll press clear and then click on Amazon Pay just to see the Amazon Pay orders. To get them all back, click on the filter symbol in the column header and click select all and then OK. I can also sort any column from A to Z or highest to lowest. So here I can see this person ordered £5,000 worth of goods and paid in cash. Tip 15 is copy style. Now, if you copy text from another source and paste it into a spreadsheet, the formatting may not match what you already have. To make it match, all you need to do is select a cell in the style you want. So for example, I want this and then click on here, paint format. And now I'll highlight all of these and it will change the format to match that cell. So this works the other way as well. So if I clicked, if I clicked on here, then click paint format and then selected that, it would copy the style from here to here. So that is paint format. That's it. If you found this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.